All right. Good evening. It's Luke Thomas, QuickPredictions.com, your earthquake channel. It is 10.30 p.m. here in California. It is Saturday, December 26, 2020. What a great year. All right, we're going to start with the uh, quakes that have hit around the world, and we're going to start by opening the, share the screen here. And there we go. Make this picture a little bit bigger in the corner here. All right, so we're gonna start with a couple of quakes down here in uh, one in uh, Northern Chile and one here in Peru. We're gonna start with one in Chile there at 4.2 uh, north northeast of Calama, Chile. And that was right up here in the 90 to 95% area. And this other quake here, the 5.0 east of Lima, Peru. That one was right in here, about the 75, 70, 75% risk area. All right, over in uh, Central America and Mexico, we had a uh, 4.3 here in uh, Southern Mexico, which was right in the 65 to 70% risk area. And we had one down here south of Panama and Costa Rica which was right down in the 60% risk area. And we had one here, a couple of quakes, a 4.4 and a 4.7, uh, southwest of, uh, west of Guatemala. And those were right in here in the 70 to 65% risk area. Okay, and now we're going over to Greece. This quake here occurred in uh, 4.2 and west of Crete. And that was right here in the 75% risk area. And this quake in Turkey over here, we didn't do too well with that one. That one occurred in the 35% risk area. Over off of Japan, this uh, 4.5 east of Fukushima and Sendai, that occurred right out here in the 70 to 75% risk area offshore here. And then in uh, California, quite a bit of uh, quakes are popping uh, in uh, California. This one here north of, uh, or east of Bakersfield and north of uh, Los Angeles here. That quake was a 3.5. And you can see we've got very high risk across uh, Southwest and Central, East Central California, down to LA, up to Southern San Francisco Bay. And uh, still expecting something strong in this area. Uh, we have a new format, a new uh, forecast model to keep improving our forecast model. This model is based on a few more days than usual. So that uh, we used to do it just one day at a time. Now we're taking a bunch of days and kind of combining them so that we get a much better idea when this thing's gonna hit. So we're very high risk still in uh, Southwest uh, California from, uh, Santa Barbara, San Simeon, Santa Barbara, Santa Maria, Santa Clarita, Northwest LA. This area all the way up to East Central California, you can see in some of these other quakes here, um, up here in East Central California, uh, 3.4 and a 3.3 just hit, and some other quakes, 2.6 and 2.8 so forth. They're all occurring out here in East Central California. So there's a lot of risk here all the way down to Santa Maria and Santa Barbara, northwest of LA. So still expecting something strong in that area. Now we're gonna go over to our uh, forecast maps. Close some of these down here. So we still have that warning for uh, California. And uh, so, so the uh, warning still remains. Strong earthquake is likely a, uh, northwest of LA near Santa Maria, Santa Barbara, and northwest suburbs here. And uh, so once once this hits, then this whole purple re region here will begin to dissipate. And this risk will uh, go down to 90 and then 85 and 80 and so on. But right now, we're at a very high risk in uh, southwest California, northwest of Los Angeles, uh, near Santa Maria, Santa Barbara, Santa Clarita, that area. So watch for that. All right, we're gonna go over to the Alaska forecast. 
and it's pretty quiet across most of the state, just 45% around acreage and 85%, 75% up here in uh, the oil country up there. All right, we're gonna go down to Chile, the Chile forecast, Santiago, Chile. And you can see there the uh, list still remains in the Antofagasta area of Northeast Chile and uh, Calama and uh, Copiapo, northeast of Copiapo. So this northeast portion of Chile is very high risk. And then there's a very high risk offshore, La Serena here, and Santiago's right here. So that risk there as well. But this is the, the area of greatest concern right now is the northeast Chile. All right, Italy, let's go to Italy. Here we go. And you can see most of the risk is in the southern portion and the western portion of Sicily, 90% there. And then the risk is over in Algeria and Tunisia as well. So the highest risk in Italy is in Sicily, of course, 80, 85%, 90%. But the highest risk is in the western and southwest portion of Sicily. All right, we're going to go over to Japan. And so the risk in Japan is mostly centered around uh, Chiba, Ibaraki, Tokyo, Shizuoka, Fukushima, Sendai, that area. But it's not really high risk right now. And uh, most of it is offshore, the risk. But we still could get some 3.5s and 4.0s in, uh, in the Tokyo, Chiba, Ibaraki area. In the Philippines, let's look at the Philippines. And it looks like uh, down here in Southeast Philippines, very high risk in, actually that's East Central Philippines, very high risk in East Central Philippines, maybe a 5.5 or 6.0 is possible in that area in East Central Philippines. And over in Greece, the risk is centered west, or kind of near Crete, but west of Greece, Crete and Southwest Greece, 70% risk there, 75% risk farther south and southwest. So most of the risk in Greece is in the southwest and south. And Central America, again, the risk is mostly across Guatemala, northern Honduras, and Belize. And then there's this big area offshore, and that's interesting because we had a bunch of quakes off in that uh, area uh, out in the Pacific. All right, Ecuador and Peruvian forecast here. Most of the risk is across the south where you get a 5.0 to 5.5 across southern Peru. Lima is right about here. So southeast of Lima, 5.0 to 5.5 in the southeast portion of Peru, Indonesia. Indonesia's forecast is in the far northwest part of Sumatra. We get a 5.0 offshore there. And 70% here down in the eastern portion of Java, eastern and central portion of Java, south of there, 70% risk. But the highest risk is in northwest, uh, northwest of Sumatra, and that could produce a 5.0 to 5.5 in that area. And in Taiwan, the risk is in the far south. You can see 70% risk in the far south, and then 90% farther south than that, but uh, kind of a moderately high risk in the far southern portion of Taiwan. And the Caribbean forecast, 75% risk across uh, Puerto Rico and 80% across the northern Lesser Antilles. And uh, most of the risk farther north, east. 75% of risk across the Dominican Republic there as well. Could get 4.0 in that 80% risk there, northeast uh, region there, the northern lesser activities. All right, the Washington forecast, Seattle, Washington, Idaho, and Oregon. Once again, this uh, risk is based on a few more days than what we, we used to just have a, a daily forecast based on one day at a time. Now these forecasts are more of a few days to, uh, bunched together so we get a better idea of when it's going to happen 
and when it tapers off, the risk will taper off as well. So just a low risk across this region of uh, Washington State, Oregon, and Idaho. All right, Turkey, Syria, Cyprus, Iraq, Eastern Greece, and uh, the country of Georgia. 90% up here in uh, the country of Georgia. We get a 5.0 up there in Western Georgia, the country of Georgia. And then uh, the higher risk is down near Crete. Of course, this forecast is not for Greece, but that's where most of the risk is, is down at like Rhodes Island and in Crete on this forecast. Um, 60 and 55% risk near Istanbul, Turkey. But pretty low risk across the country, except for the far, far northeast near the country of Georgia. Okay, once more, let's look at the Los Angeles, uh, California forecast again. Still looking for a strong earthquake, 6.0 to uh, 7.0 across uh, Southwest uh, California from uh, San Simeon to Santa Maria, Santa Barbara, Santa Clarita, Northwest LA, a lot of Santas out there. And uh, all the way up to East Central California, down to Southwest California, Northwest of LA. So we're gonna stop sharing, go back to the main picture here. So thank you very much again for following here at quickprediction.com and the earthquake channel. You can go to earthquakechannel.com and they'll take you to our website as well. And uh, please subscribe to the videos, uh, YouTube videos. Thank you to the 148,000 followers now on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And we appreciate that. And we will keep you informed. We'll keep you safe here at quakeprediction.com. And uh, wish you a well in the last portion of 2020. <laughs> and a very happy new year coming up in 2021. But we'll see you again. Uh, Tomorrow night, which is, I believe, uh, the 27th, we will see you the evening of the 27th, give you an update on all the situation in California and across the world. Thank you very much, and we will talk to you later. Stay safe.